Hey everybody, it's Gary, the guy in the pink shirt, with a quick check ride pro tip to help people pass their IFR check ride using the Avidine IFD. So, most examiners, when you get in the plane, will ask you to show that your GPS databases are current. Well, most devices automatically show the database status page when you start them up. Avidine's a little bit different. So if we look at the 440s on the right, after passing the self-test, I'm going to push enter and you'll notice it goes straight to the flight plan page. The Avidine 540 on the left, after passing the display self-test output, when I push enter, it shows the database status page. Why the difference? Well, this is what you need to know and share with your examiners. Avidine IFDs will not show the database status page on startup if they are all current. It's part of workload reduction. Why push confirm if everything's current? The database startup page only shows if one or more of the databases is expired, in this case, preloaded or missing. So if your IFD has current databases and it won't show the status startup page because they're all current, the examiner says, well, I, I want to see it. No problem. On any Avidine IFD, it's very, very easy in the 10.3 software. All you have to do is push the auxiliary button then touch the system tab and change the status software LSK to status databases and there you go Mr. or Mrs. Examiner there are all my databases. If you want to make IFR check rides easier watch the entire Avidine Mastery Not Minimums online video training it's the only one from me the Avidine National Training Provider that is real world video and experience. You'll understand all of the functions, you can avoid common errors, you're going to learn the shortcuts, of course you'll be prepared for emergencies, and you're going to make not only the check ride, but flying single pilot IFR easier and safer. Hey, it's Gary the guy in the pink shirt. Thanks for listening.